Welcome to the Cloud Perceptive channel. Today I will be discussing about Amazon S3 KMS key, SSC KMS, so, like protecting data using server side encryption with AWS key management service. So, key management service is a centralized service that is available in AWS through which you can manage your keys, you can rotate your keys. So server side encryption is the encryption of data that at okay at its destination by the application or service that receives it. AWS key management service, AWS KMS is the service that combines secure, highly available hardware and software to provide a key management system which is scaled for the cloud. Amazon S3 uses AWS KMS key to encrypt your Amazon S3 objects. AWS KMS encrypts only the object data. Any object metadata is not encrypted. So remember this, any of the metadata which is associated with your object data, it's not encrypted. If you use KMS keys, you can use AWS KMS through the key management console or if there are some KMS APIs are also available that you can use. So here are some of the benefits for that. First is centrally create KMS keys. Secondly, define the policies that control how KMS keys can be used. Audit their usage to prove that they are being used correctly. The security controls in AWS KMS can help you to meet encryption related compliance requirements. You can use these KMS keys to protect your data in Amazon S3 buckets. You can use SSE KMS encryption with an S3 bucket. The AWS KMS keys must be in the same region as the bucket. So remember this. Number one, first point is uh, see, AWS KMS should be the same region, and second is metadata is not encrypted. Okay, so these are the two points you should remember. Thirdly, there are some additional charges for using AWS KMS keys. For more information, you can follow this link. It's in the PPT and of course the PPT will, I will upload it on the slide share and I will be putting the link down in the comment section so you can go through that. And some of the necessary uh, links are already available so you can use that. All right, then we'll start with the live demo. So I will be logging into my AWS management console. And from there, I'll show you how you can enable SSC KMS. So follow along with me for the demo. So I am logged into my AWS management console. I will be navigating it to S3 service. From the recently visited section, of course, I am. Uh, I'll be creating a new bucket, or maybe let me use the existing one. So I already have this demo thirty. All okay. Let me use this one twenty nine five. See, this bucket has been created in Mumbai region. Okay, AP South one Mumbai, Asia Pacific. Okay, so I'll be clicking on the bucket. And moving to the properties down here. If you scroll a little bit down, you will find the default encryption over here. Click on edit. As you can see, the encryption is currently disabled. You need to click on enable. First option, you will see this S3, SSE S3. I've already posted a, a, my previous video for this. So you can go through that if you want some deeper understanding into that. All right, so I'll be clicking on the SSE KMS. Here you will find some options. First is AWS Manage Key. Okay, AWS S3. Second is we can choose our own AWS KMS key. Or if you have the ARN, you can put down your ARN over here, which is Amazon resource name. Okay, I'll be going with the uh, AWS KMS keys, which I have already created earlier. So I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to select some, okay, I'll be choosing my new KMS key over here. 
right let me just open up the kms service uh, and let me look at the properties of this my new kms key so it's all right so here you can see through the kms key you can control the key control the uh, security using key policy you can define key administrators key users or maybe some other AWS accounts right here is the cryptographic configuration so that's the default configuration I'm using key rotation all right so you can define the key rotation over here okay all right so things looks good so I'll be using this key my new KMS key, right? And there is one more option, which is bucket key. So reduce encryption cost by decreasing calls to KMS. As I told you right in my slides that you may incur some cost if you are going with the KMS. So using, uh, if, you, if you want to reduce the encryption calls, you can choose this option. Okay, uh, I mean, reduce encryption cost by decreasing the calls to KMS. Okay, so to specify, to specify a bucket key <coughs> setting for an object, use the AWS CLI SDK. Okay, but we'll be disabling it for our demo. Wait for that, and I'll be saving the changes. All right, so that's it. So we have KMS configured. If you scroll down a little bit, we'll see this is the key ARN, all right? And as you can see, the bucket key is disabled. Okay, it looks good. I'll be uploading an object over here. I already have an object uploaded, I believe. No, there is a folder here. So let me just quickly upload an object and I'll show you from that. Click on upload. Click on add files. Right, I've selected the file, my test PDF new. Scroll down. Under the properties, we'll find the storage class here. As you can see, the server side encryption settings, which says do not specify an encryption key, but we will be using the encryption key as per the default encryption but okay bucket setting which says ssc kms okay so remember if you don't select this option there won't be any encryption uh, in it but for your object so at object level for object level encryption you need to select this option okay all right i'll click on upload okay looks like there is some failure. All right, the error says that access denied. Let me look at the bucket policy. I must have used this bucket for a different demo. Okay, we have okay, under permissions, if we look at the Bucket uh, policy, yeah, we have some access control over here. Let me just remove this bucket policy. All right, so we are good to go. Now I'll again try to upload an object. Your properties. We'll look at the encryption keys, use the server default bucket settings and click on upload. So here we go, it has succeeded and our object is now encrypted. So click on the object name here, you will find the encryption information. As you can see, server side encryption is enabled and this is the key. Okay, 
and let's say tomorrow if you want to rotate this key or okay you want to automate it so you can do it using the key rotation over here you can rotate your key automatically every year so that's a benefit of it so basically you can even audit this key you can log the access for this key so that's very beneficial okay trace yeah, is the right usage of this particular key so i hope you like my video do like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching